Hi, Chef Raphael here. Today's video is really special. It's a unique recipe. It's brought to you by Copia, my Sharahisi. Now more about that within the video, but on this video, you'll actually learn how to make this. This is mashed doma, jahe, and potatoes. I, to be honest, I even don't have a name for it, but it's a nice mokimo. Um, it's really unique because on this video, I'll share the procedure for making the mokimo. It's really unique, especially with njahe. I've served it here with some meat and some kachumbari. I know you'll enjoy it. Watch till the end and you see how simple it is to make it. Let's get cooking. So welcome to the show. Now today's recipe, like I said, it's inspired by copia. Now a little bit about copia. Now first of all, I got the ingredients from copia. I'm using the njahe. In this recipe, it's actually all about njahe, which is celebrating the, the grain. Now not many people like it, but I'll explain more about the cooking later. But about copia, copia is where you actually buy everything. Uh, they pour be the poor ku shop bila kusafiri like you literally buy your stuff from copia you can send them up, um, up country you can to your loved ones you can buy um, construction materials like iron sheets or you can simply buy uh, normal shopping tissue paper grains rice sugar and send them to up country and most importantly the delivery is free so more about it check it out on copia.co.ke but let's get into the recipe. So the first thing about the njahe, which is, like I said, not many people like it, but it's all about how do you, um, it's, you actually treat it like any bean. Now, what the first thing you want to do when you're um, cooking njahe, my tip is boil, I mean, soak it first. Soak it before you boil it. You can soak it in um, overnight or even five hours before you cook it because it will actually take a shorter time to cook when you have soaked it. Now, when you cook it, you just let it boil, put water, you let it boil. And also the other tip is when you're boiling it, boil it with a carrot inside. What the carrot does, and this also applies to any, any bean, including jahe or, 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 or dengu or even kamande, which all copia have, you actually boil it together with a carrot because it reduces the gas effect that you may have that the, that you'd have when you eat the the, the grain. Um, even if you skip the carrot, it will still be okay. But that's just a tip that you should take home with. And then after boiling, all you need to do is to drain off the the, the water. And also, what I like doing is applying. I mean, putting cold water and basically rinsing off the 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 boiling the the water that i used to cook the njahe with you simply set it aside now uh, the other ingredients in this recipe is the ndoma and the potato potato is straightforward it's just peel it but for the ndoma the, the trick about um, uh, cooking ndoma is peel it um, and then usually people get affected and you get itchy hands and all that the way to avoid that is just peel uh, the, the ndoma without washing it first. Well, the moment you introduce water to ndoma, what usually happens, that's what will, um, the enzymes, the enzyme, enzymes of the starch of the liquid that will come from the washing the ndoma will actually affect your hands and you'll become itchy. So my take is just peel it um, without any water and then wash it after you have peeled it and all that is left is to cut them into smaller pieces and then together with the potatoes you boil them you you boil the ndoma and potatoes until they are fully cooked or basically they are soft i also added a little bit of salt when cooking and then what will happen is that when they are cooked you'll just add the cooked njahe at the very last moment because the njahe is also cooked and then uh, the last five minutes so that they all boil together and then drain off the water when you're cooking for the njahe and everything and the potatoes, drain off the water and all that is left is to mash. So now all that is left is to mash. Um, also, it depends on the quality of your uh, doma. Sometimes it's really hard to tell, but 
I like the one that I have. Some are a little bit mushy and some are also dry, so it's fine. So all I need to do is to mash everything until it's fully mashed. It's a little bit wet, which is good to make sure that the dish is not too dry. So now the mash is ready, what is left is to serve. Now you can serve it, actually you can actually have it plain, but in this case I'm going to serve it with some meat and a little bit of a salad just to make it extra special. So the dish is ready now, served it with some um, fried gizzards, you can serve it with any meat. To be honest, you can even have it plain with a kachumbari. In fact, the two one actually go, goes very well because I also have some kachumbari. I think it's up to you um, because even the dish by itself, the jahe and the potatoes and the ndoma, it's kind of nutritious by itself, just by the ingredients we have used. Uh, but it's always good to have some vegetables. So that's what I was saying, kachumbari and jahe just by without the meat will be perfect let me know in the comment section what you serve this with and let me know when you try it how you like it i remember the njahe here it's um it's one way of this is just one way of doing it you can still use beans for example but i want you to try it with the njahe and let me know how it is and remember to go to kopia.co.ke kushop bila kusafiri bitha bora kwa beipoa so i'm signing out i'm chef rafael and until next time Goodbye.